I would like to begin with a poem in old-fashioned meter. Be good to us, and we'll be good to you. Scene two, inner monologue. Setting. Scene two begins inside a small church with stained glass windows. Angry Bill sits at the front of the room in a black key tags matter t-shirt. The coffee maker percolates in the foreground. Romeo slurks and slithers into a seat in the row which is located all the way in the back, furthest from the speaker, and closest to the door, also known as relapse row, also known as denial aisle. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. Welcome to the Sharing Like Shakespeare group of High Socks Anonymous. I'm an addict who goes by many names. Some call me Angry Bill. I've been called much worse. I'll be your master of ceremonies this evening. Let us open this meeting as we do many, but not all, meetings with the serenity prayer or a prayer of your choice in silence. Yeah, Dad. Yes, the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Thank you. The coffee makers, uh, it's not ready, it's still going. It will be ready soon. So don't worry for right now. If everyone could please. Just practice the principle of sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up. I'll introduce this speaker. I cannot recall why I requested this man to speak tonight, for he is a real donkey. We nearly came to blows at the business meeting a fortnight ago. However, we see eye to eye on the matter at hand, namely recovery from the disease of addiction. This man has recovery not of mice, but of men. And I can place principles before personalities and call a spade a spade. <laughs> Although I only joke when I say he's a donkey, remember newcomer, much truth is said in jest. I give you hippie Steve. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you, Angry Bill. Angry Bill stumbled into the fellowship bringing with love, honesty, and willingness about two years prior to my arrival. I can assure you he will never relapse, for that would mean that subsequently I would have more clean time than he. And he will never let that happen. <laughs> Seriously, though. I thank you for the humbling introduction. I need to be reminded that I am capable of reverting into a donkey at any time, and I only have a daily reprieve from donkey dumb. Even with many moons clean, I can still slip up into the melodrama wishing I could be what I think I should be. Announce that. I've been around a few sundial spins, and I still might happen into a corner which I can't escape from clean. At least not without thine help. But any vast journey begins at the beginning, and thus it is. Fools, all them with their smiles. What an alien feeling. They do not want to hear my boo-hooing. It was all good just a week ago. It was me up there at the podium. And look at me now, trembling in the presence of the message. Positively angry Bill is waiting in the wings, ready to cry out. I told you so. I'm sure that whatever I share will immediately get back to Juliet. Just like a tightrope walker who plummets to his death amidst cheers from the crowd, only to be eaten by a circus tiger. These animals will salivate at my fall from grace only to ravish me. I can hear them now. Or is this a fantasy in reverse? I must ask myself whether it is nobler in the mind to save my face or my ass now. I will not use, but I cannot go on living. Not this way. My choices are none. I must share for this reason. I remember now when I shared in the mirror crying. I fancied I had gone mad. Oh, the voices in my head. Need to make us make it. Never long, never again. These damn voices brought me here. Out, out, I say. They will not leave me be. I know it. And they have every intention of ruining any get high I find. 
a moshe. It's made the things we can and the rhythm to know the difference. Romeo, that was like such a legit meeting. <laughs> Great meeting, guys. Help put the chairs away, you freeloading pigeons. Chase! This tuned upon fire. Chase! You don't know.